time in history, all four belts in the cruiserweight division will belong proudly around the waist of one man. This is Coogan Cassis for IFL TV in association with MTK Global. We're at Greenbank. Is that the place? Is that right? Here in Liverpool. Joined by Ryan Farag, who uh, just defeated Jose Hernandez uh, by a single point. It's safe to say that was a, a tough six rounds for you, Ryan. Yeah, I mean, I didn't expect him. I knew he was going to come. I knew he was tough. But he was able to land a lot more shots than I thought he was going to land. Caught me with a body shot early. I felt that. And then I think it was round five, or round four or five, and he caught with a big left hook over the top, I think it was. And that dazed me. And uh, I could hear the corner saying, hold on. That's what I'm fucking doing. <laughs> um, but, I mean, you've had kind of one fight since the Burnett fight, so it's like one fight in the, the space of a year and a half, is that is that right? Yeah. And I was a four rounder, it was supposed to be a six rounder and being a four rounder. Um, yeah, I mean, I've been very active. And it's showed there tonight, I think. Um, I, I was told, I was told five weeks before the fight that I had to do under the bantam weight limit if I want to challenge for the flyweight this title. So I, I think it's safe to say I cast quite a bit of weight off. I'm not making excuses because it is what it is. Um, you know, I, I made the weight and I got through the round, so I'm happy. I mean, I, I, I'm not, I'm not. You know, I, I could have performed a bit better, but it is, I say, it is what it is, and I got through the rounds, got through the fight. Um, I just need to go away and get some good sparring, I think, for, for what's next. Is it important for you just to kind of? Get active again, Ryan, and get a sort of consecutive uh, amount of fights uh, under your belt, sort of before kind of moving forward. Or are you ready to sort of challenge for the British title again now? Yeah, I mean, give me, give me a ten, twelve week camp, and I'll be, and I'll be ready. Just say I had five weeks to make that weight, and that's the lightest I've ever weighed as a professional. Um, so I know I can make the weight now. I just need a little bit more time to, to, to make it properly. Yeah. That was one tough fella. Like, uh, he, he took some nice shots himself and he didn't blink. <laughs> like, um, but that's just what I needed right now. That, like, I said I didn't want someone who was just going to roll over. And he's still far from that. Because like. his record doesn't really match the performance that he put in tonight, Hernandez. My manager, Anto, said to me, um, this is a tough fella. He said, don't take him lightly. I had a little look at his record and I noticed that he'd only, he was only getting beat by prospects and good lads. So I knew, I knew he was going to be tough, but he, he did surprise me a little bit. Um, he, had a good, he had a good energy, he had good fitness, he had good strength. But yeah, I'm happy. I'm just happy that I got through the fight. And, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to, to what's next. Well, like you said, there's still positives to take from the night. Uh, you got through, like I said, the tough periods in the fight, rounds in the bank, and you can kind of move on from this now. Yes, yeah, that's it. I mean, I know I can do the weight now. I think I just need a little bit more time to do the weight properly. Um, but yeah, good, good tough six rounds, a good opponent. You know, that's what, that's what it's about at this stage. Is to say, uh, can't be fighting them fellas who are just there to survive. I need more than that. And he was there to take me out. And uh, fucking hell, he was fucking hell, he did at one point, I think. But, uh, but yeah, we got through it. You got through it? We got through it. Okay, Ryan, a little bit of boxing trivia. Do you know who boxed at this venue 10 years ago? 10 years ago? 2008. It wasn't uh, Lomachenko, was it? Fiat was there, he was just telling me about that earlier. He said there was him, and there's someone else. Uh, the Luke Campbell one is, um, is European here as well, he said. Yeah. That's true. So Derry said. Derry says that it must be true. <laughs> I, I hope it's right, anyway. Yeah, Lomachenko here in 2008. Yeah. Oh, so. <laughs> at the Green Bank. Lomachenko at the Green Bank. <laughs> it's 
good enough for him, it's good enough well, for Well, no, absolutely, game. absolutely. All right, Ryan, listen, thank you very much for giving us a little bit of time. Uh, well done, like I said. Can I just say thanks yep. to everyone at MTK Marbella uh, for everything you've done for me in the past year. Um, I'm settled in over there now and everyone's made me feel welcome, so thank you, everyone. And thanks for everyone who came to watch me tonight as well. It means a lot. No problem. Kung Cassis here with Ryan Farag, IFL TV. Thank you very much. Hello, everyone. I'm Ryan Farag. Uh, let's be blunt, knives are in large, let's start saving some, hashtag let's be blunt. History, all four belts in the cruiserweight division will belong proudly around the waist of one man.